Cowboy boot companies regularly discontinue models to make room for new product. And that can help you save money if you happen to come across one. Today, we're checking out a discontinued Ariat, the Legend Boot. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and Ariat regularly discontinues models that aren't selling well, or if they just want to revamp the technology that they're using in boots. This Ariat Legend boot has recently been discontinued, but that might be good for you because stores will still have this in stock and they may be putting it on clearance pricing or on sale at some time in the near future just to move that stock out the door. So if you happen to find yourself in that position and are watching this video, let's jump straight into the rundown so you know what you're looking at. The Ariat Legend boot is full grain leather on the foot and the shaft. And Ariat called this a dress boot on their website. I'm not sure if that's just because it's black, but it's pretty much built like a lot of other ones that we've looked at on this channel in the past. And if you're looking for a dress boot, you might want a leather outsole, but we'll get to that. It also features a really nice narrow square toe. I love this toe shape and a single stitched welt. It's a little bit taller coming in at 13 inches tall with six rows of white top stitching that was done by machine. Down here for a heel, we have a one and five eighths inch composite heel with lines to make it look like stacked leather, but it's not stacked leather. It's actually molded to the outsole, which is their Duratread outsole. So that might make it a little bit more difficult for this boot to be resold, even though it does have a good year wealth, some cobblers might not like to work with this type of boot. However, this is a rubber outsole, so it will take a lot longer and a lot more to get a hole through this than it will with a leather outsole. But in my opinion, I think you need a leather outsole in order to have a dress boot, because if you're going out and maybe dancing in your dress boots, a rubber outsole isn't gonna help you very much, especially in the Western forms of dancing. You're gonna want that leather outsole so you can slide around a little bit. This is gonna have a little bit more traction and kind of hold you back on the dance floor. On the inside, it is a leather lined shaft, but a cloth lined foot. And for an insole, we have their classic ATS insole. This is a nice one. It's in a lot of their boots. Pretty much standard. You got a little gel and a lot of foam in here. So we've seen this on the channel before. It's very common. It's not their best insole, but it's definitely not their worst. This is also made in China and on the Ariat website, it's coming in at just over $200, but because it is discontinued, you may be able to find it for much cheaper than that in your local Western wear store. Now let's try it on to see how it looks and feels. All right, so I have the Ariat Legend boots on right now, and right away we're getting that immediate comfort from the insole. That is what Ariat is known for. They're known for their insole technology and having that comfort like a sneaker right off the bat. A lot of times you'll get more of a stiff feeling because of the leather that they use in the Made in China Ariats, but in this one, it's more supple. So I'm really liking the feeling of this boot right off the bat because it has a more supple leather, which we don't usually see from the Made in China Ariats. We usually see that more from the Made in Mexico Ariats, but here is a nice exception. I'm liking the feel of these boots. I also like the look of it. So that narrow square toe looks really good. I'm a fan of the narrow square toe. Some companies will call it a seven toe, some will call it a cutter toe. Um, but pretty much they are very similar. So narrow square toe is pretty much what I'm gonna call this <laughs> because there are so many different names for it. So uh, it's nice, it's nice. The heel size, if you were concerned about a higher heel, if you're mainly coming from like the Roper territory or maybe a double stitched well wide square toe that have the Stockman heel, I can't really notice a difference. I like a taller heel, uh, it, it's, it's, it's more comfortable to, to my foot. So it could go either way. It might feel a little bit weird if you're first trying it. 
um, but it doesn't feel really that weird here. Here's what it looks like POV. Again, it looks good. It's working really well with these jeans, which are the cinch jeans because the top is so wide. And I'll talk about that in a second, but uh, it works really well with these jeans. So if you wanted to use this as a dress boot and you have some nice dress jeans to go with it, I think it'll work. All right, so the Ariat Legend boot feels a little bit more supple than some other made in China Ariats that I've tried before, which is nice. I'm not a huge fan of the heel. I never have liked when Ariat does this. They have a composite heel, but make it look like it's stacked leather. Uh, I mean, it's got that traditional look, but it's not traditional at all. And the rubber outsole is gonna be good for working, um, but I don't think that this is the best dress boot that you could get. If you were looking to get a dress boot, I'm definitely going to recommend that you get a leather outsole. It's going to be more slippery for sure, but it looks better, it has a cleaner edge along the side, and you actually want it to be a little bit more slippy, especially if you're going to be on the dance floor. Another good thing to know if you wanted to use this as a dress boot is that the shaft is pretty wide. So it's gonna show through some dress pants if you wanted to do that. However, if you had a more relaxed fit jean, like the ones that I was wearing when I just tried on this boot, they were the cinch jeans, relaxed fit white label, and they hid the top very nicely. So if you were trying to go more of a dress jean, they would probably be okay, but probably not the best option for a dress pant. All in all, I understand why Ariat is discontinuing this boot. It has a lot of older technology that they used in the past, and you can see them sort of funneling in some new technology into their boots like the Bantamweight and the Ventex. So this probably isn't getting a lot of interest compared to those other boots. Still, if you find it for $150 or cheaper, and you are interested in getting an Ariat boot, I think that would be a good price range for this if you did happen to find it on sale. Let me know what you think of the Ariat Legend boot down in the comments. Do you have them? Let me know. And don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best, and I hope you have a spectacular day. Peace. It's the legend. It gets attention. Maybe not a dress boot, but still independent. It's discontinued. It won't be renewed, but maybe you'll find it on sale too. Yeah. Why don't you check out this video up here about finding some great used boots online. Make your money go further. Or I got a video down here about my new album, Life is for Taking Chances, if you're looking for some new music. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. You're the best. Peace. Have a good one.